Incoming! Interstellar Comet 3i Atlas has entered the building, or more accurately, the solar system. By now, you've probably heard about this Comet 3i Atlas, which is now headed through our solar system. Is this comet evidence of extraterrestrial life, or is it just unique because it's only the third interstellar comet that we've ever observed? What is 3i Atlas? 3i Atlas is an interstellar comet that was discovered in July of 2025. Most comets orbit our sun. An interstellar comet is a comet that does not orbit our sun. 3i Atlas has never been in our solar system and it will never return. This is only the third interstellar comet that we've ever observed, and the first two were only discovered recently. 1i Oumuamua was discovered in 2017 and 2i Borisov was spotted in 2019. What does the name 3i Atlas mean? The 3i part refers to the fact that this is the third interstellar comet ever observed. The Atlas part refers to the organization that discovered the comet. In this case, it was ATLAS, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. ATLAS is an asteroid impact early warning system developed by the University of Hawaii and funded by NASA. It consists of four telescopes, two in Hawaii, one in Chile, and one in South Africa, which automatically scan the whole sky several times every night looking for moving objects which could pose a threat to the Earth. How close will it come to Earth? On December 19, 2025, 3i Atlas will come within 270 million kilometers, or about 168 million miles, of the Earth. That's about 1.8 astronomical units. And by the way, an astronomical unit is the distance from the Earth to the Sun. So almost twice the distance from the Earth to the Sun at its closest approach. At that distance, it poses no threat to the Earth. Will we be able to see it without binoculars or a telescope? Unfortunately, we will not be able to see 3i Atlas without assistance. In mid-October and November of 2025, it will be completely obscured by the sun. Then in early December, it will start to appear in the east just before sunrise. From what I'm reading, you'll need a telescope with about an 8-inch aperture in order to see it. Although, that's certainly not going to stop me from trying with my little 4-inch telescope. How do we know that 3i Atlas is an interstellar comet? How do we know that it's not orbiting our sun? We do this by analyzing the shape of its path. Once we've collected enough information about its path, we can try to fit its path onto known mathematical shapes. It turns out that the best fit for the path of 3i Atlas is a hyperbola. All of our local comets follow an elliptical path, and we can predict when these comets will return, even if it's a long time into the future, sometimes thousands of years into the future. A hyperbolic path goes out to infinity and never closes in on itself. It never returns to its focal point. What makes 3i Atlas so special? First of all, it's rare. 3i Atlas is only the third confirmed interstellar comet that we've seen come through our solar system. We don't know that it's only the third ever. It's just the third that we've ever observed. But as far as we know, this is a rare event. Velocity. This thing is coming towards us at 130,000 miles per hour. 3i Atlas holds the world record for the fastest solar system object ever observed. Size. This thing is huge. It's like nine miles across. Trajectory. Its trajectory is hyperbolic, indicating that it has never been here before and it will never be here again. Another thing special about its trajectory is the angle that it comes in at. See, if our solar system sits on a plane like this, this comet is coming in almost exactly, it's about five degrees off of this plane. It could have come in from this way, it could have come in from that way, but no, it comes in roughly in line with the plane of our solar system. What are the chances of that happening? Composition. The coma of this comet is mostly CO2. Typically, comets have a lot of H2O and CO2 coming off of it. This has almost eight times more CO2 than water coming off of it. The highest CO2 to water ratio that we've ever seen in any comet. Why do some people think that 3i Atlas is evidence of extraterrestrial life? The strongest case is the path that it takes through our solar system. Not only is it traveling in roughly the same plane as all of the planets, but on its way through, it makes a close pass by three different planets. If some extraterrestrial intelligence was going to send a probe through our solar system, having it swing by several of our planets would seem like a wise choice. Another feature that could suggest intelligence would be non-gravitational acceleration. If it suddenly changed course unpredictably, that could suggest a propulsion system. It could also suggest natural outgassing as the sun heats it up. 3i Atlas does seem to be deviating from its predicted path slightly. 
That said, just because an object displays characteristics that we find unusual doesn't necessarily mean that it's caused by extraterrestrial life. Just because we don't know what something is doesn't mean that we know what it is. Here are just a few of my favorite resources for keeping track of 3 i Atlas. TheSkyLive.com is a great one. What you do is just go to the search bar here and go 3 i Atlas, it comes right up. Now to find my favorite viewing portal, you have to scroll down the page until you get to this. I love this 3D solar system viewer. And you have to click in right here to actually get it to go full screen. There we go. And then I like to click on reset camera to get it kind of centered. Now I can tip this around and zoom in and out with the scroll bar on my mouse. And I can adjust the dates here can go back in time and then hit the play button down here and we can watch 3i Atlas make its way through our solar system. And if you want to speed it up you can go up here and say one second equals one month. There that's even faster. And here we go. And this is a great way to see how it's just roughly it's about five degrees off of the plane of our solar system. All right, so that's a great way to see where 3 i Atlas is on any given date. Dr. Avi Loeb is a professor of science at Harvard University. Avi Loeb has been in the news a lot because of his view that because of the incredibly high stakes and the impact that the discovery of extraterrestrial life would have on humankind, it's worth using all of the resources available to us to learn as much as we can about this strange object. You can easily find videos featuring Avi Loeb because he's in the news almost every day. The Angry Astronaut is a nerd's nerd. He follows 3i Atlas closely and knows a lot about it. If you enjoy learning about current events in spaceflight and exploring the possibilities of extraterrestrial life, but with a purely scientific, evidence-based approach, the Angry Astronaut is your man. He's not a flat earther, he's not a moon landing denier. He is, however, very enthusiastic about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. He presents his findings with a dash of deadpan humor, which I find infectious. His videos are very informative and enjoyable. Stefan Burns is a geophysicist and an entrepreneur. His YouTube channel covers solar activity, space weather, planetary alignments, and geophysical energetic events. He also discusses health and wellness topics like earthing and grounding, and he sells health products. Interesting combination. Although I find his thumbnails and titles to be a, a bit sensational, I do enjoy his updates on 3i Atlas, and he, he really seems to know his stuff as a geophysicist. And finally, Anton Petrov is a great source for hard science. He, like myself, likes to produce videos that make complicated science topics easy to understand. He's a no-nonsense science and math educator, and he focuses on interesting and fun topics like 3i Atlas. And be careful out there, I'm seeing an awful lot of false information about 3i Atlas on social media. So when you see these sensational detailed images of something that they imply is 3i Atlas, much of it generated by artificial intelligence, it almost certainly is not an image of 3i Atlas. So check with the resources that I've just shown you and you're more likely to get something closer to the truth. Okay, that's my report. Hopefully you now know a little bit more about 3i Atlas, and more importantly, you know how to follow it as we learn more about it as it comes back into view in November and December of 2025, and then on into 2026 as it exits our solar system. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.